And number two here, uh, very closely related to number three, I guess you could even say they're kind of 2A and 2B, close to a tie here, wouldn't you say, Bob? I would agree. Um, and this is really just taking that, that customization of our navigation flows a little bit of a step further. Um, so this was a very important functionality release that uh, took place here in uh, Q3, Q4, and this is really allowing a, an organization to springboard, if you will, into your other uh, cloud applications. So if you look there on the top left, you're going to see those are a variety of the um, Oracle Cloud offerings that are currently available to organizations, uh, and these are also the available offerings that are um, enabled for the springboarding uh, activity here. So if you were an organization that had two instances of PBCS and you were an end user that needed to, you know, connect to, um, you know, both of those applications, uh, you know, simply with a click of a button, you could be moved into another application, you could open up a report, uh, could open up a form, uh, things like that. So this is going to be a very strong focus of not only eCapital, um, but as of Oracle as well um, as we move into the new year. Because I think as, as the, the cloud footprint continues to grow for organizations, this piece of functionality right here is going to be very, very important. So we're, we're certainly excited for the future um, of this integrated business process um, within navigation flows. Number one, here we go. Top feature of 2017, again, as voted on by yours truly, is uh, strategic modeling. So this is that fifth out-of-box uh, plan type or modeling process that you get with the enterprise uh, license. And basically brand new in uh, 2017 of this year. I mean, ever since it was introduced, halfway through the year here, we see almost at least one enhancement a month to this modeling set as they continue to develop and, and uh, build this out. And while it's not there yet, they're still working on it. What it essentially is going to become uh, is that replacement for uh, HHSF, Hyperion Strategic Finance. So it doesn't have the full parity today for some of the capabilities you have uh, in HS, HSF, uh, but like I, like I just stated, you know, monthly enhancements to this product coming out, they will get there eventually. Uh, they're relatively close now, but, but that is the goal for this model. So again, classifying this as number one because as part of that enterprise license that uh, if you have that out there, you essentially were given uh, a brand new modeling out of box that you're able to leverage to kind of build out those long-range strategic plans.